Hey everybody, this is Kathy from Whole Home and Body Health. And today I wanted to show you the amount of EMFs that you may be exposed to if you decide to use a vibration plate. Now, vibration plates are really cool. I'm actually a fan of the concept. They have some good science behind them and the health benefits, musculoskeletal injuries, lymph flow, detoxification, you know, really good solid health benefits. But they tend to all be really high in EMFs, which is really unfortunate. So I have one here that I'm gonna test and I'm gonna show you what I'm finding. And then you can make up your own mind about whether or not you feel like you wanna use one. So let's get into it. Okay, so here is a vibration plate. It's a Life Pro Wave, that is the brand. It is not plugged in. I have my oscilloscope here ready to go and I'm gonna grab my NFA 1000. And so this NFA 1000 is gonna test the electric and the magnetic fields. So I first wanna just get a baseline before it's even plugged in to see what kind of readings we get. So here we are on the electric field setting. And I've got about almost 30 volts per meter and that is likely just coming from the wall. It is, as you can see, as I get close to the wall. There's a wire here, and I'm getting 80 volts per meter. That's actually pretty dang high. Um, higher than I would normally see, but as I get away from the wall, it goes down. So I'm at, you know, I was at, what, 28 up here, 30. Even, you know, a little bit of a distance makes a big impact. Now I'm at 13, 14. If I put it off of here closer, or sorry, further distance from the wall, I'm actually down a five, so that's great. So that's what we got without the unit being plugged in. Let's look at the magnetic field. 0 0.2, 0 0.17, 0 0.16. Okay, that's great. Building biology guidelines want this number under 0.2, so we are good in this house as it is currently being tested. Um, and sorry, for that electric field, Building biology guidelines want that number under 0.3, which uh, obviously we were way higher than that, and there's a lot of ways to get that number down, but that's another video. So anyway, we're um, under, we're around 0.17 with the unit off. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Wow. Holy smokes. Wow, just plugging the unit in made the electric field go up to 104. And this isn't even on. Say hi, Bobs. This is not even on, uh, it's just plugged in. And that is common, and it's good for you to know that whenever you've got any kind of anything plugged in, no matter what it is, a lamp, a blender, a toaster, you've got hot, you know, this is a hot wire, bring in um, voltage up to the unit ready to go so it is going to increase your electric field whether or not the device is on or not. Okay, so now let's power the device on. There we go. Okay, Bubs, this isn't your video, buddy. Okay, so the device is on. No, it's it's not running, it's just on. And here's our electric field reading. Uh, still quite elevated. Let's see if the magnetic field does anything. Nope, still pretty low. All right, so let's turn it on to the lowest setting, the lowest speed. Let's start, I'm on one, it goes up to 99. So that's crazy, right? So we've got almost 30 milligauss on the lowest speed. Let's see what happens if I turn it up. It goes up to 99. I'm not gonna turn it up that high because I don't wanna ruin my $2,000 meter. That would be insane. 36 uh, volts per meter. Uh, uh, what am I saying? Sorry, 36 milligauss. I'm gonna turn it back down to one. 30 milligauss right in the center here, which is not surprising because the motor is right here in the center, right? So this is a variable speed motor and this causes us problems when it comes to EMFs. 
especially with the dirty electricity, which I'll show you in a second. So one thing to note though, if you do have one of these and you do use one, you've got 30, almost, almost 30 milligauss. Oh, so maybe the motor is, ooh boy. So maybe it's actually like around here. Anyway, I got up to 60 milligauss right there. Now, what if I wanted to stand on the edge where I get more vibration? It actually goes way down to, to about two milligauss. That's really significant. So that's, um, that's good information. If you do use one of these, you wanna stand on the edges, not in the center. So let's see if we get anything like that with the electric field. I doubt it. The results are probably gonna be the same no matter where I move it. So I'm at 375. So actually it gets higher, probably because the power cord is right here. So it gets much higher towards the, the front. But if I move it to the side, now I can't, I can't do this very well because I don't want to, necessarily set it down well there we go so it does actually decrease as I move away from the source so it, okay so it decreases a lot so that's that's great so again um, we're on the lowest setting here the very lowest setting of one I'm gonna turn it off and then the takeaway here is very very high right here much much lower on the sides so if you're gonna use this definitely stand on the sides now i'm going to turn on my oscilloscope um and show you what we have for dirty electricity so sorry about the um the cat bombing the video here but you know cats do what they want to do so all right here we go so 500 millivolts which is about where we want to be um for a healthy home or lower nothing really going on on my oscilloscope here Let's check out the math function, which is kind of like looking at the sine wave from the side. Notice I do have spikes here. That's, I don't want all that, um, but it, that's for another video. Anyway, uh, 500 millivolts math function. I'll go back to the standard function and we'll hit play. And you see what you got. So you can see that in real time, I'll hit pause. And then I'll hit play. It's crazy. And this goes up to three volts. That's some ugly, ugly stuff right there. And if I put it on math function, look at this. The whole entire noise floor just completely raised up. So let me pause it and you can see it lower. So we call that the caterpillar. And it, it looks like a dancing caterpillar when there's a lot of noise. As you can see, I turn this back on. There it looks like a dancing caterpillar, right? That's ugly stuff. Um, we do not want it. So let's go back to this function here. Again to my meter and let's turn it up. I'm on, I'm on the lowest speed. Now I'm gonna turn it up to, I don't know, 50 maybe. And we'll see if that changes anything. So I'm still at three volts, still pretty much the same. A little bit different there, a little bit more noise, but overall, overall, if the unit is on, this variable speed motor, I'm gonna turn it off because I don't wanna keep getting blasted by this. This variable speed motor, they make noise like this. This is common. So that's a whole lot of noise that um, I don't like and I don't wanna really be hanging out on for an extended period of time. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you. Um, significant amount of EMF from these vibration plates. Now this one doesn't have any radio frequency, which is great, but I guarantee you there are ones that do because every single electronic device out there today is trying to connect to the internet of things. So at least we didn't have dirty or uh, radio frequency, but it doesn't matter to me. If you are a sensitive person, this is absolutely not going to work for you. If you're a completely healthy person and you're not worried about your EMF exposure, then go for it. But you know, this is something to note. Um, if you don't feel well after you do a session with these vibration plates, maybe it's because of the EMF. Um, if you do decide to use one, 
because there are still health benefits to these. I'm not telling you not to use it, but I want you to be informed because again, if you're an EHS person, you can't, this is just not gonna, the, ben the risks way outweigh the benefits. Um, if you are gonna use one though, again, put your feet on the edges. That's a much better place to be and keep the unit out in the middle of the room as much as possible. So the more you can get into the middle of the room, the less of an electric field you have, but that's gonna be really minimal because it's just really high anyway. So, you know, if you're gonna use it, just be informed. Um, I personally don't recommend it. This one's going back, it's too high for me. I don't wanna spend 10, 20, 30 minutes a day on a health supporting device that, or a fitness device that is insanely high in EMFs. That just doesn't make sense to me. So, you know, if you want to have lymph flow, if you want the benefits of this, I would suggest a rebounder. It's similar uh, in its um, mechanism of action. It, of course, it's not nearly as, I don't know, um, intense as a vibration plate, but it still is very good for you. It's low tech. You don't have to have these electrical components and you won't have any dirty electricity. So I hope you found that helpful. As always, questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below. I'm always happy to correspond with you. Uh, please hit that bell and subscribe so I can continue to bring this information out to more people. So thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye.